Ukraine is continuing to launch this counteroffensive in its southern region of Kherson. Ukrainian military said that on Friday, nearly three dozen uh, pieces of Russian military equipment were destroyed. This includes tanks as well as artillery. Also, two munition depots were struck. The Ukraine military said that Russia is trying to hold its ground and that it is using a lot of drones for reconnaissance. However, analysts say that Russia has likely lost ground in Kherson, and this is because Ukraine continues to hit key infrastructure objects, such as these bridges, that Russia so desperately needs to get military and, uh, and supplies into the regions. Russia and Ukraine are pointing the finger at each other for this attack on a prison in the eastern regions of Ukraine that killed uh, dozens of Ukrainian prisoners of war and injured many. Both sides are saying that this was a premeditated attack. The intent was to silence the prisoners and to get rid of evidence. Ukraine's President Zelensky went on video yesterday and he said that this was deliberate war crimes by Russia and that this was deliberate mass murder. Associated Press reporters saw protesters in the capital, Kyiv. They were relatives of prisoners of war and they were urging the United States to designate Russia a terrorist state. The United Nations has said that it would send experts to investigate the attack, but that it needs all the parties to agree to it. These prisoners were largely from the town of Mariupol. They defended the Azovstal steel plant. In May, more than 2,400 of these prisoners surrendered. Some have since returned to Ukraine in prisoner swaps. However, many of them are unaccounted for, and their families say that they have no idea where they are. Sam Mednick in Lviv, Western Ukraine, with the Associated Press for CGTN.